Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician here and your local peptide doc. I'm here to talk to you about peptides actually today. I'm going to give a very brief intro. I'm going to do a series of videos on peptides and then continue on with our hormonal series as well. Talk to you all about Primex hormonal, hormonal science and what we're doing with uh, treating uh, health and fitness at the cellular level. So i uh, going to give a quick primer. I apologize if the lighting is not super great. I'm um, going to talk to you basically a lot of people ask me, you know, what the heck are peptides? What are they exactly? Well, basically, they're naturally occurring molecules in the body. They're signaling molecules. There's hundreds or thousands of them in the body naturally found. Insulin is a classic example. Insulin is a peptide. And we're, you know, there's many, many that I can go over, but basically they're naturally occurring, occurring uh, compounds, the protein molecules that are found in the body. Now, what we've done is be able, a lot of these uh, laboratories that we work with have been able to isolate them and actually modify them or even make their own peptides similar to uh, hormones that we make uh, compounded that are exactly molecularly the same as those found inside our bodies. Uh, so there are no foreign substances, they're not synthetic, they're na as, about as natural as you can be. Yes, they are made in a lab or derived from a lab, but they're naturally occurring and molecularly uh, exactly the same as what we find in, in the body, which is amazing. So uh, some of the companies that we work with, again, not only have uh, replicated some of these peptides, but uh, modify them to make them better, eliminate the negatives and improve the positives. I'm going to explain later how a lot of these are better than some of the other hormones, comparing, for example, a peptide to, say, growth hormone, why it's better, why it's different, why you can uh, enhance the, with the positive and eliminate the negative. So, you know, there's over 7,000 naturally occurring peptides, and they're selective signaling molecules. They signal the body and the cell to tell it what to do. They, they provide messages and signals and enhance uh, different functions in the cell. They're not they're different from the hormone molecule, which actually gets engulfed in, and actually uh, causes the cell to translate or to, to create little molecules of uh, DNA or RNA to create uh, another molecule, a protein molecule, to act. Uh, they, they interact through, through receptors and ligands. Uh, now, they can act as on receptors as well, but mostly they signal. They, they basically tell the cell to do, or the mitochondria, to do different functions. You know, there's over 60A, 60 FDA approved peptides at this time already and that list is growing. You know, there's over 500 that are being used therapeutically around the world. Europe and uh, Japan some of these other countries are doing, doing this, uh, doing a great job of this. Uh, a lot of countries in Asia, uh, but here in the States we're doing this as well. And again, more and more getting FDA approved. A lot of them, just like traditional medicine, medicines can be used off-label with, with uh, appropriate studies and uh, therapeutic use and uh, there's a lot that have been used for years and years and some have actually been used for decades and it's just we're just now kind of hearing about them so again getting back to the beginning you know what are they I said they're they're basically molecules but they're basically two or more two or more amino acids that are linked together so typically what we say is if there's less than 50 of these amino acids they're a peptide if there are over 100 of them then it's a protein which of course we know what proteins are and if they're in between they're an oligopeptide so uh, most, most of the time, you know, anywhere between 0 and 50 um, of these uh, amino acids linked together, and that's a peptide. It's very simple. Like I said earlier, really, insulin is a classic example. Insulin is a peptide. So it's not like a foreign new thing. This has been around for a long time, but, it's, uh, but we're creating more awareness of it now. So amino acids get a little geeky on you, but they're basically just molecules that are linked by an amine group, an NH2 mo molecule, and a carboxyl group, which is COOH, carbon, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen hydrogen. So and the amino is nitrogen and two hydrogen molecules together. So uh, there's an amine group on one end and a carboxyl group, and then the other uh, amino acids are in the middle. So again, these are found in all cells. They can act on receptors. They can act uh, on different parts of the cell. Like I said, a signaling molecules. Like I said, insulin is a classic example. GLP-1 uh, uh, receptor agonists are another example. Those are a great one that has been we can use for uh, diabetes control as well as weight loss. Uh, it's interesting. This has been studied actually by the big by Big Pharma and uh, FDA. Originally, they were looking at this to, to treat neurologic problems like Parkinson's, and it did help with that, but the, what they found is that, oh my gosh, all these people are losing weight, well, and it's improving their, their hemoglobin A1C, improving their glycemic control. So why is that? So of course, they, with Big Pharma involved, of course, they saw, they saw the dollar signs, they went after that market instead. However, we use these as well for many, many things. Awesome peptide for many things, neurologic, um, and controlling metabolic syndrome, and diabetes, and many other things. So. I'm going to go into some more uh, more uh, information and some more series of on these. I'm going to try to do these on the whiteboard. I'm going to do a few on like a kind of like a PowerPoint uh, keynote presentation. You won't get to see me, but uh, sometimes it's a little clear because my handwriting sucks. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And uh, if you have questions about this, I'm your peptide guy. Just come to me, and we'll talk to you soon.